Hey guys and girls, welcome to another example video here, uh, working with C++. Um, what we're going to go through today is really simple, just a, just an easy show off of the vector capabilities, just, uh, just to finalize something here. Um, so basically sometimes you want to copy one container into another just really easily, right? Maybe you have a container that's empty and one that has a lot of things in it and you just want to copy them over and or or you know duplicate them and stuff like that so it's easy to do I just want to show you that and uh, and how tell you how that works so let's make our vector here let's say let's keep integers going here uh, my vec one and we'll make another one my vec two all right both are empty right now so let's fill one of them up right that sounds like a good idea um, let's fill it up with 10 numbers and my vec1 uh, no uh, remember to do pushback don't do equals because there is nothing at that position yet when you do pushback um, sorry about that when you do pushback you add one to the vector right you increase the size of it you keep going you keep putting things at the back of the vector if you do equals at a position it's gonna try to take that position and then uh, assign a value to that position but if there is nothing at that position you're you're screwed so pushback is what you use to add new things and the assignment operator you use to change something that you know is already there so let's push back let's just do a simple we don't need to do random today let's just push back about 10 fives and then the other one is empty so we'll just make sure we Make sure we print this out. Um, my vec one, and we'll print them out. And then we'll do another end line here. Okay, so the thing here is that let's make sure we know what's going on. My vec one, like that. Okay, so now everything that's going to print is going to be from my vec one. And the next thing we're going to do is assignment uh, or copy one two two okay if that makes any sense at all um, what's gonna happen here is we're gonna do my vec two equals my vec one okay and then we're just gonna do the same thing with my vec two and we're gonna see what happens so we don't need to do that anymore let's say that my vec2 dot size okay and we're just gonna print it out just like that and we're gonna see what happens okay let's go if we get a crash we're screwed okay no we did not get a crash so my vec1 had 10 fives copied it right here as we can see just using the assignment operator, just simple, because the class, it's called a class, we'll talk about it later. Someone has created a class vector, which has all these functionalities. Someone sat and actually created it, and we can make our own type of vector later. We'll do that, and we'll make a lot of different container classes. But what you have to do then, in order to use this assignment operator, is to use operator overloading. And I know I'm going way ahead now, but it's always good to have the word in your head, you know. You can look it up, and you can see what it is. You In this class, there is a overloaded operator overloaded assignment operator which makes it easy to just copy one into another the actual procedure is very complex and you could if this wasn't overloaded you'd have to do that uh, procedure yourself but the person who made it decided to make it easy for us overload this operator make sure we can just use it in order to copy two vectors into one another and that made it so that we could just make my vec2 into an exact copy with the same size and everything. So that's good to know. I just wanted to show you that and we'll use that a little later as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.